The specialty of otolaryngology is more commonly known as ENT, or ear, nose, and throat, but it has a, um, some, some sort of a confusing nomenclature, sometimes called otorhinolaryngology. The decision to come to Texas Children's was primarily driven by the, the tremendous opportunity that I saw here, the opportunity to make a difference in the community, the size of Houston as a, as a metropolitan area, the impact of Texas Children's as the primary health care provider for children within this large metro area. I had two main goals when I arrived and uh, they're complementary. The first was to provide a wider range of services in more locations around the city. The second was to offer more subspecialty services in areas such as airway surgery, head and neck surgery, sleep medicine, laryngology, cochlear implant surgery, and so on. And uh, recruiting to staff toward meeting the first goal has also allowed us to have the depth in various subspecialty areas to meet the second goal. We now have the largest group of pediatric ear, nose, and throat specialists, not only in the country, but in the world. The number of cases that we do, the number of patients we see has uh, you know, close to tripled over the last couple of years. If you have a child who has a mandibular tumor or a maxillary tumor or thyroid cancer or has a really complex problem with deafness or has vocal cord paralysis or is born with a mass that's obstructing the airway, any of those things, those are things that we see commonly and that we have people who are really, really good at treating. And uh, as in anything, when you have something that you do with frequency, something that you have experience with, you gain additional skill and uh, can treat that problem with more confidence and with better outcomes. The future of uh, pediatric laryngology at Texas Children's is going to involve more subspecialty care, more cross-disciplinary care. Much of that, I believe, will involve refinement of surgical practice and less invasive surgical techniques, continued development of devices to treat deafness in children, as well as other forms of hearing restoration. One of the keys to success for the future, one of the things I enjoy the most, is having people work together within our group towards developing standards of care that we can all agree to and all apply consistently. Uh, you really uh, would like to be in a place where uh, the brand means something, where you know what you're getting, where you know that we have a certain standard for anybody who works in our group. You can't get better care anywhere in the country for your children if they have an ear, nose, and throat problem that you can get right here at Texas Children's.